Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm here to bring you a recommendations video. Before we get into the video, I have a new backdrop. I'm filming in front of my rainbow bookshelf, give you guys something pretty to look at other than the bookshelf that's way in the background of all my other videos. Let me know what you think. Um, the lighting is a little bit different because my window is to the side of me and not directly in front of me and I use natural light. So let me know if you like this setup, if you want me to go back to the original one and that's all there is to talk about when it comes to setup. So let's get into the recommendation. So I'm going to start a little series where I read the original fairy tale and I recommend to you what I think are the best um, retellings that I have read of that particular fairy tale but I want to read the original first and see how they differ, why certain things are better, give you my opinions. So today, the very first installment of this little series is going to be Beauty and the Beast. And the original is written by Gabrielle Suzanne Bartbit de Villeneuve. I can't speak French, I'm very, very sorry, but this is who it's by. So I know we all know the basis of Beauty and the Beast, but let me tell you a couple things you may not know about the original. So, um, Beauty is not an only child. She has two older sisters, and her father is a merchant who is down on his luck. He lost all of his ships, so now they are poor, and they're living in poverty because he lost all of his wealth. Um, and the reason he goes, the reason he's in the Beast Castle and is taken prisoner is because he picks a rose for beauty. That's all she wants when he comes back from a journey. All she wants is a rose. So he picks the rose, the beast has a fit, and tells him if he does not bring his daughter, his youngest daughter, that he will come after them. And there's nowhere on earth that he can hide. There's also an element of dreams where beauty is dreaming about this handsome stranger and she doesn't know who he is but you understand that it's the beast in the story so that's the original fairy tale it's really cool i enjoyed it um i did not know certain things about it because all i had to go on was of course the disney version of beauty and the beast but i really enjoyed the original um i liked the dream aspect and you know that she's not an only child so i thought that was pretty good so now let's get into four Beauty and the Beast retellings that I think are really good. The first one I'm going to talk about, I don't have a physical copy of, so I can't show it to you, but it is Beauty by um, Sarah Pinborough. And this is part of a trilogy that she has where she reimagines um, fairy tales. And I really liked Beauty because it's a mashup of Rumpelstiltskin, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, and the Beauty and the Beast retelling in it is so unique and so different. I can't tell you what it is because I don't want to spoil it. I think it's one of the best takes on Beauty and the Beast where it's not necessarily that a person is ugly on the outside. It's who they are on the inside that makes them ugly and makes them beastly. And it's really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I highly, highly recommend it. I don't think that you need to um, read the other, because I think this is the third book in the trilogy. You don't have to read the other two books in order to read this one. They have characters from the other books in it, but Beast or Beauty and the Beast is such an interesting, take on that fairy tale and I absolutely loved it. Please, if you have a chance, pick it up. Totally think it's worth it. The next recommendation that I have is Belle by Cameron Doki. And this is this is one of the books in my fairy tale retelling collections that I absolutely love. I've read this numerous times and this really closely follows the original fairy tale. So if you're looking for a retelling that has some good changes but really follows the main fairy tale this would be a really good one to try or if you haven't read the original fairy tale this would also be a good one to read because it has all of those aspects where she is the sister to all to these other two girls who are not as great um the her father's a merchant down on his luck 
they live in this little cottage. I mean, it, it really closely follows the original, but I still think it's really, really good and worth the read. And these retellings are super quick and fast to get through. Like, help me. This is 204 pages. Like, this is really quick and easy to get through. The next book that I have to talk about is The Beast's Heart by Leif Shalcross. And this, again, really closely follows the original fairy tale, but this is from the Beast's perspective. And it's very interesting. I enjoyed reading from the Beast's perspective because usually we always get Beauty's perspective. And it was interesting to see the Beast's reasoning for why he wanted this particular girl what happened that caused him to anger the fairy like from his point of view his background it was really really interesting and i really enjoyed it um the one thing that i found kind of lackluster about this was the actual writing it was not as lyrical and beautiful as i was hoping but the actual plot is very very good and i did enjoy it so there's this one and last but not least, this is probably one of my favorite retellings of Beauty and the Beast. And that is Soul and Songbird by Daniel, Danielle L. Jensen. And this book is loosely based on Beauty and the Beast. This is, does not follow the original fairy tale very closely, but it is about our main character, Cecile, who is taken captive by the trolls that live under this mountain. And she is forced to marry the troll prince who on the outside looks very beautiful but treats and he treats her like shit so he is the beast because of how he acts and how he treats her but of course there's more to it than meets the eye and of course they fall in love and it's just it's so good and i really enjoy it this is the first book in a series and i thoroughly recommend this i have not read the rest of the books in the series but based off of this one this was such a good retelling and i i like that it didn't follow the the main fairy tale although i liked that in the other ones this one was very different and it took the main concepts and kind of twisted them on their heads because the trolls trapped in this world are actually very ugly on the outside but it's the flip with the prince where he's beautiful on the outside but on the inside he's ugly and he's a beastly on the inside but not on the outside like all the other trolls. So I just thought that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any good Beauty and the Beast recommendations that you think I should read. Um, let me know what ser or what book you would like me to tell or talk about next, Fairy Tale. I am so out of practice with filming. I'm so sorry, this is awful. But let me know what Fairy Tale you would like me to do next. I have a couple up my sleeve. But I haven't picked one yet and I will see you guys next time. Bye!